so, so cute. What's up everyone and thanks for watching. It's your based Mothman again. And he is back with new moth species that hatch today. I still haven't managed to learn the word, to say the word moths properly yet. But I'm getting there. Anyways, let's uh, cut the crap. These are some beautiful Copaxa witty, or at least that's what I think they are, from uh, Ecuador. Um, I had some cocoons in storage for this year. And they started hatching right now. Although, unfortunately, I only have females. Uh, earlier this year, I had a few couples out of them, uh, males and females, but uh, I failed to pair them for some reason. But uh, that's perhaps because it was very cold. It was um, late summer, even autumn or winter. But uh, now spring is coming and it's easy to pair uh, species outside now in cages. So I'm hoping that a few males will perhaps hatch anytime soon and I will get to pair them at least so I can investigate their life cycle from uh, egg to adult. These the two adults here seem to be females I think. Yeah, this one sadly has somewhat broken wing on the right side, can you see it? I don't know how she got that damage. Uh, I found her like this this morning. She must have done something stupid, but uh, these moths only live for a short time uh, anyways. And as you can see, they are difficult to handle. They are stressed out very easily. But uh, it's also difficult to properly photograph them for this reason. But They are real, real beauties. And I think it wouldn't be very hard to actually uh, Breed them. If I got a pairing, raising them will be a piece of cake. Copaxa are usually very easy species to raise. Uh, if you have some liquid ambar or, you know, even populus in some cases, popular tree. Um, they also like, uh, well, what else do Copaxa like? You have some species that feed on pine for some reason. I have no clue about this species, but I hope we'll find out soon. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. Here's just regular moth video like you're used to. Thanks for watching.